Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be going over the Litecoin chart and the potential 100% gains to the upside that Litecoin can be seen here. I think you're going to absolutely love today's video. I'm going to be going through Litecoin against Tether and also Litecoin against Bitcoin. So you're going to see against, you know, USD and, and Bitcoin. We're going to be going through these charts, the potential really bullish setup that Litecoin has and how exactly I am trading this coin. Let's get into the analysis. You're going to really enjoy this one. And let's begin then. Litecoin, Litecoin, Litecoin. Uh, it's been it's been treating us pretty well. Obviously, I've been making it pretty obvious I'm long on Litecoin for the past just over a month now. So I'm really liking this coin. It hasn't really taken off massively yet. What we have here on the local local time frame we're looking here on the four hour chart of a potential really nice rounded bottom to form here so we would really like this to form this kind of rounded bottom to you know break the highs and move on to all-time highs once again now uh, but you know this really all started back on you see here the exact low of this nice increase in price was put in on the 25th of march if you've been following us you all know what happened on the 25th of march coincidence or not that's for you to decide but the 25th of march was the low for a 100 percent increase in price to obviously come down for this retracement if you're wondering what we're on about here what happened on the 25th of march you might ask well this is the day daniel went shopping for altcoins and decided to fill his bags i was filling algo litecoin rep tezos yfi and obviously at the time placing orders for about 10 bitcoin i currently have this is the this is so this is the way i was trading this was obviously over on the spot pair here so if we just switch over to the spot pair a second litecoin against a btc so this was again on the 25th but this one is the one that you know it it was brought to my attention really i went i went through basically the 300 odd altcoins that there are and i went through and i picked out five five altcoins from the 300 altcoins of what i viewed as really good potential and this was obviously one of those five. Um, it was, you know, when I was buying, it was basically at the very, very, very lows of the chart. It was in an extended downtrend, had absolutely no hype a month ago. Obviously, it is picking up a little bit now, but back a month ago, there was no one really talking about it. And I just recognized the opportunity, basically. And then on top of that, what we have here on the on the Litecoin chart against Bitcoin is we have this really nice head and shoulders forming. So we have the left shoulder, the head and then looking for the right shoulder. Okay, this was uh, obviously Litecoin against Bitcoin, and this is obviously then going to give us our, our long targets for this. Uh, so you can see if we if we add it on here, it's kind of looking at a bit, uh, looking at it as if we have this sloping neckline. So it's a it's kind of a slanted head and shoulders, but we have a fairly nice head, have a fairly nice sorry left shoulder head forming the right shoulder potentially obviously still within forming this right shoulder the thing that i'm looking at is this bitcoin pair if we zoom in on a lower term time frame again we could be forming this rounded bottom or simultaneously the the tether pair which i'm leveraged long on at the moment is also forming this potential rounded bottom so we see them both coming together almost yeah so litecoin against tether or usd however you want to look at it, currently trading 260 dollars is forming a potential rounded right shoulder and litecoin against bitcoin is also potentially forming a right shoulder. So we can say that we have pretty important support around 0.037 sats on the Bitcoin pair. And when switching back over to this, well, for me, when we take our Fibonacci from the low of the move on the 25th of March, bring this up to the highs, we can see our pretty important support there is coming in around $186. Okay, for me, that's a pretty pretty important support level uh you can see that this is prior this is being traded pretty nice we obviously had our original 100 percent move to the upside quickly came into the cc got our first bounce up to our first take profit fib we come back into then our ccw region and this is when we're working our way back up so really i suppose it wouldn't be the best scenario to see 186 we would really like to form this rounded bottom making a higher low off of our current low which was putting around 200 dollars so obviously the best case scenario would be building this up as a, as a you know really as a right shoulder now and that way we'd have the confluence between litecoin bitcoin putting in a right shoulder here and then also litecoin against usdt putting in a right shoulder here one thing to bear in mind on the on the litecoin against uh usd chart is we're currently trading again around 260 dollars give or take um 
$350 is a massive resistance, which is also pretty much around the all-time highs. So I think you've got to be really aware of $350 to the upside on Litecoin. Uh, obviously, I'm trading this on Bybit. It doesn't have all the years of history. Um, but I know that $350 is a, is a pretty big level on Litecoin for the USD pair. So I think that this is a sensible place to like lock in profits, let's say. And we can see here, let me just add this back on. We can see, uh, yeah, 360 for me, I'd say 360 to 370, $370 on the Litecoin pair would be your first like kind of major level where you could imagine it trades a bit like Ethereum. You know, when Ethereum broke all time highs, got you know, got pretty heavy, you know, really got pretty heavy pullback to be fair. But now that's obviously taken off really, really, really strong again, uh, Ethereum. So I'm kind of trying to trade Ethereum. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm trying to trade Litecoin now just as I traded Ethereum. So I'm aware that we could see that, you know, friction pullback at around $350, $375. But at the end of the day, uh, it's going to be pretty influential what, what's happening on Bitcoin and, of course, what's happening on this Litecoin BTC pair. Uh, you know, if we really complete the head and shoulders on this, well, we're going to be looking for massive gains to the upside. OK, uh, obviously, this one is very, very, very oversold. Um, well, it's had a pretty nice bounce. But when we bring on our sort of targets for this, this would be in a perfect world, bringing us up to around uh, zero, let's just say 0 0.0075. Okay, so that would give us our head and shoulders target on the Bitcoin pair. So yeah, this, this is my, th that's really my thought process on Litecoin right now. I think that we have really, really, really nice potential on the Bitcoin pair forming a head and shoulders and a high term time frame, daily time frame, head and shoulders pattern. That's a, that's a really strong pattern. And simultaneously on the tether pair or USD pair, we are also, well, I, I guess it's, it, this is going to be so influential to Bit. you know, if Bitcoin crashes, the, the Litecoin against USDT is going to crash. You, you almost can certainly understand that. Yeah. But as long as Bitcoin holds up, as long as it goes sideways or upwards, then this, I, I think is going to hit our targets to the upside. If Bitcoin crashes, Hey, this is why you use the stop loss on the altcoins because it's probably going to bring down the altcoins. But I think for me anyway, so far so good. We've had, um, you know, fairly good run at this over the past month. We are holding our important FIB levels. I think our lowest one that we really wouldn't want to see breached is $186. Um, if it does breach that, I think um, it's probably going to be game over. I would imagine Bitcoin's got to be crashing pretty hard for, for us to hit $186 on, on Litecoin, to be honest. Um, so as long as that doesn't happen, I am long on Litecoin. I think it has amazing potential, especially recognizing that there are, are potential rounded bottoms being formed on both of these coins. Again, we can monitor this over the over the coming two weeks, I'd say. We need to closely monitor Litecoin, keep on checking for the volume, keep on checking for the divergences. These are the two things that we really want to keep on top of. Okay, we really want to keep on top of that. And so naturally, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing, keeping on top of it, monitoring this. But so, so far, as I'm making this video, on the 29th, everything for me is looking good. I mean, this is this is currently obviously um yeah, well I have like 40 Bitcoin of it in on spot, and then I'm also leveraged long on this. Oh, sorry, that's Cardano. Uh sorry, the, the, their emblems look exactly the same on this. Um long on this from from $224. Okay, we're currently sitting at around $258, probably around 740% profits on this one. Um, you're going to have to let me know whether you kind of like these sort of videos. Do you like me talking about altcoins? Obviously, we're speaking about Uniswap, what, about three days ago now? And that one absolutely took off for 40% move to the upside. So we're absolutely, you know, kind of killing these altcoins. I know other people trading around DOT with us. Obviously, I'm also long on DOT. Um, you know, people absolutely... You know, you can read these sort of comments. People are absolutely killing it. But you're going to have to let me know. Do you want me to do you want me to do some more altcoin videos? Obviously, I've already done one on Uniswap, long also Litecoin, Cardano here. I could do a video on that, explaining that if you want. I've obviously talked a little bit about DOT. I was calling that for $30. Um, also, I'm trading I'm trading Bitcoin Cash. I'm trading uh, Link right now. This is all over on Bybit. I'm trading them all there. But yeah, if you want to see a video about any of these other alts, you can let me know. Obviously, I've done my video on Ethereum and a lot of people were asking for Litecoin. So I said, hey, let's do a Litecoin video. I'm also trading it. So why not? Um, yeah. And if you want to see any others, um, just like Uniswap, you, you you can get in on that with me. Uh, obviously, I'm trading this over on Bybit. You can trade it wherever you want. And that's the setup that I'm going for right now. And it all started literally. You couldn't you cannot make it up on the 25th of March. 
just as I started to pile on the bags, buying it bit by bit, uh, getting those bags filled. Litecoin was pretty funny. I remember I bought this and posted it in the group and within a few hours, it, it, it moved up about 5%, ended up closing my Litecoin positions and then rebuying it back more slowly over the next few days. It's going to be one that sticks with me. Pretty funny. But yeah, that, that's it, I suppose. We pretty much bought and uh, called the exact bottom of Litecoin and many of those other altcoins, to be fair. So if you want to, if you want some more altcoin analysis, let me know. But for now, I am trading Litecoin long. I'm looking for this right shoulder rounded bottom on the USD pair or simultaneously also looking for this on the Bitcoin pair. As long as we can break up from both of those necklines, we are looking um, I think first of all on the USD pairs here around three fifty three seven five dollars on the on the bit on the LTC Bitcoin pair. Well, if we break that neckline, I think we're looking straight up for around sixty percent gains to the upside. Uh, obviously, to bring you to the measured move, the measured move is really simply the length of the head to the top of the shoulder. Expand that on from the neckline, and you've got your measured move targets. So, hey, so far so good. No, uh, if you want to see more, give a like. Drop a comment and I'll happily do some more altcoins. For now, hope you've enjoyed this video. And I'll catch you in the next one, I suppose. CC printer goes... <laughs> and we absolutely are smashing it. So, um, yeah, there we go. I hope you've enjoyed. Have a brilliant day and goodbye.